Yeah. YouTube, what's good? Back with another video. Know the vibes. When I'm in the whip, you know I'm going. You know where I'm coming from. Uh, finna hit the gym in a minute. Just had to handle some business. But, fuck all that. Main thing I'm here to talk to y'all about is how to perform better in bed. Alright? How to perform better in bed. This is gonna be quick little tips. I ain't gonna get too deep into it right now. I get too, I get deep into it another time. But I know y'all be wanting like talk all this shit. Y'all wanna have like, a girlfriend or have a rotation of bitches. You gotta know how to fuck, bro. Cause I know y'all want these bitches to be coming back, you know. So the only way that's gonna happen is you gotta know how to fuck. Alright. So I'm gonna give y'all five quick little tips or some shit that you should just keep in mind for whatever the time comes. Tip number one. Tip number one, understand the assignment slash confidence. You gotta have sexual confidence. You gotta have sexual charisma. You gotta have sex appeal. All of that is gonna play into your inter your interaction. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go in there, you know. That's why I say y'all gotta have, you know, you can't just be a virgin trying to think you're gonna handle business. That's not how that shit works. So, you know, if you're young, you gotta have couple partners under your belt or a couple interactions under your belt even if it's just one or two girls that you did it a lot with you got to have that experience when you're going in there you know you got to get in there know what you're doing know where you're going know how you're touching her and shit like that and know you know how to put it on how to put it in you know things like that it makes the operation smoother than you sitting there like all right uh suck her nipples i mean am i doing it right am I Am I touching her right? She's not moaning. She's not making no noise. Now you get nervous. Now you getting anxious. When you get all these anxieties and shit, that's when your buddy, that's when your buddy start to start to grease, start to go down, and start to start to step out on the meeting. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want that. You know that puts up for a bad performance. That gives you. That's gonna get you a bad review on Yelp, my nigga. You want that confidence because you want her to feel relaxed. You want her to feel comfortable. That's gonna be the whole thing. That confidence you exude is gonna make her feel comfortable. Especially if it's one of her first couple times, you know, she might be nervous about it. You wanna make her feel relaxed. You wanna make sure that she can open up to you so that you can, so that you can dominate her. Next, let me just tie these two in together. It's gonna be your sexual health and your physical health. I say this shit all the time, bro. Take care of yourself, bro. Sexual health, physical health. Sexual health need to be getting tested. Fuck what you talking about. Too much shit going around. Everybody out here fucking raw, fucking each other raw. You need to get tested. Make sure that your thing is good. Make sure you don't have nothing so that even if you do contract something, you know where it came from, right? And you don't want to be catching nothing that might kill you, all right? So sexual health, get yourself tested. Use protection, use protection. Fuck all that shit they talking about. It's cool to go raw, sushi gang, whatever, bro. You better put a condom on. You better put a fucking condom on and protect yourself, all right? And also with your sexual health, um, you know, take your vitamins. You know, it's a lot of shit that's out there now. They got with them. Uh, matter of fact, I ain't gonna say that because I ain't trying to promote nothing. But, you know, take your vitamins, physical health, be in the gym, you know, live an active lifestyle so that your blood flow, your breathing, your stamina's up. Do your cardio, do your core, you know, all the shit that you need to be doing, working out, you know, daily, having a healthy body, and uh, it'll help, it'll help translate into the bedroom, you know what I'm saying? Also take your vitamins, say it every time, makaru, ashwagandha, sea moss, beetroot, fucking your daily vitamins, you know, drinking your water, drink your fucking water, all of that shit is going to go in so that when it's time, and it's, it's time to, you know, lay it down. You have the utmost blood flow in your rocket. You got you got enough, you got enough oomph in there to be hitting the spots. So when you're hitting it, you should be uh, uh, knocking the bottom out of this bitch. You should be knocking the bottom out of this bitch. She should need, she should want to have to take a break in between orgasms because you're fucking the shit out of this bitch. Next, uh, this is gonna be more suited for, you know, if you in relationships, like if this is your main girl or a girl that you really, really fuck with heavy, your wife and shit like that, you know, intimacy and foreplay, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna tell you to try to have that connection with every girl. 
because it might turn some girls off. You know, some girls might not be into that with you. You know, so that might not be our arrangement. But intimacy and foreplay. You know, intimacy is you know just anything that that engages her mind. Right. You know, makes her feel at one. With you. you know, makes her feel at peace. Makes her feel relaxed with you. You know what I'm saying? Intimacy is gonna build up that, that sexual tension. It's gonna build up that arousal in her. It's gonna make her whole body, you know, it's gonna unlock her whole body, you know what I'm saying? To the touch, to the smell, to the sounds, just to everything, the vibrations of it. You know, intimacy, kissing, touching, you know, grinding on each other, things like that. You're gonna have to build that up, you know, massaging her, you know, rubbing her down, talking to her. You know, that's what I'm saying. That this everything, all the senses, intimacy is gonna lock all her senses: taste, touch, sound, smell, sight, everything. She's just gonna be so entrenched into the experience. That's what you need to be doing to create that experience with her. You know what I'm saying? So understand intimacy and understand this, the type of shit that you should be doing. You know what I'm saying? Bring out the strawberries and the chocolates. That's gonna excite the taste. You know, have a aroma you know it don't got to be just your smell of your cologne but you know light some candles in there that smell good to excite her scent her smell you know touch her get the ice if you don't know about the ice get some ice you know touch her body with it you know things like that you know get some you know, hot wax and shit like that. whatever you into you know touch her you know what i'm saying create that experience that's gonna open up that's gonna unlock her intimacy now off just piggybacking off of that off of the intimacy you move into the foreplay are you kissing her right kissing her right you know that's real passion that's real intimate to some women because some women want to kiss you but they'll suck your dick so you know, intimacy kissing her right are you starting at the right places you kissing her lips her neck her, her, her breasts you know, licking down her body you know if you're going to perform if you're going to perform cunnilingus you know are you doing it properly? Are you are you are you teasing her? Are you all of this stuff goes into foreplay? All of this stuff gets her aroused to the point where once you penetrate, once you penetrate, you don't even need to be in there long before she has an orgasm, before she starts squirting, or before whatever. You know what I'm saying? You gotta learn how to start her oven up and you gotta learn how to keep it going. That's why I said all these two right here is what's gonna encapsulate her mind. Once you got her mind, her body is yours. Her body is yours. So that's gonna be a big component of it. You, you get her mind and then you own her body. Last but not least, it's gonna be climax. Climaxing. Alright? If you one of them dudes that struggle with, you know, coming too fast or things like that, you need to work on it. Now you need to work on your breathing, you need to work on your stamina, you need to work on your stroke and your tempo and your rhythm. You know what I'm saying? You get in there and you're too excited and you just, <laughs> you, you, you come in too fast, I promise you that it's gonna ruin the experience. You're trying to create the experience. Just like I said in the last one, you wanna encapsulate her mind. You don't wanna be doing all of this and taking your time with her and, and then boom, it's time to penetrate what she's been waiting for and you in there for two minutes. Can you fucking, you, that sounds like that would piss anybody off, bro. That would piss anybody off. That's like waiting, that's like waiting all day to see the fireworks, you get out there and then boom, two minutes later they at the grand finale. Like, what the fuck? Like, you gotta be, you gotta be able to last. I ain't even gonna say, the jury's out about what's a good fucking sex time. I tell you, look, if it's round one, a good amount of time is fucking, I say 10 to 15 minutes. Not saying you come in 10 to 15 minutes, but that's a good quick little session. Like if you've been doing foreplay and intimate and all that stuff, 10 to 15 minutes is a long time of stroking and hitting her spots. Cause she's going to be so, she's going to be so open and, and, and fucking out of her mind in this situation. She's going to be coming and orgasming and splashing all over the place. Her body's going to be super ultra sensitive. Them 10 minutes is going to feel like an hour to her. If that's round one, that's a good little session. But you need to be in the mindset. You need to be transferring your mindset from I get mine, pump and dump, I got to get mine first. No, you need to change your mindset into pleasing her. So if she, I put it like this. 
if she comes, you need to make make sure she's coming at least once, twice, up to five times, because you know they can pop them shits off like rockets. So if you can get five to one, that's good. That's great. Most girls ain't even getting one. So if you're able to make your girlfriend come, you need to make sure she's coming in abundance. You need to make sure she's coming until she don't want to come no more. You know what I'm saying? You want to be at least trying to get, make sure she's getting them off per session. You know, if y'all got toys and all that other stuff, bring it in. You know, that way it, it, it stretches out the experience. Now, this ain't something you need to be doing all the time. But majority of the time, your sex should be, she should be fiending. Like, she should be excited about y'all sessions, y'all experience. You know what I'm saying? That's the climax portion. Then when you do come, make sure you're not, you know, if y'all not trying to make no kids, make sure you know where you're putting it. Alright? Make sure you know where that shit's going. Alright? But I got a video on that too, so pay attention. Make sure you know where you, what you're doing with your seed when, it, when, it's, when you're done with it. But yeah, yo, that's all I got for y'all. Quick little four or five tips, you know, shit to help you perform better in the bed, you know, create that experience for your girl, you know. I know y'all sitting there want to be out there sowing your seeds and shit like that, but you got to create that experience. I know y'all be wanting these girls to come back, to act like y'all don't want to go and give a fuck, but you do want some of these bitches to stay around. And how you think you're going to hold a rotation if you ain't fucking none of them bitches right? All right? Just understand that performing well in bed is going to be a big aspect of it. Right. But I'll dive more. I might dive deeper in that. I might create a Patreon for you know, some of these deeper, you know, more in-depth videos. I want to try to keep it as clean as possible on YouTube. Because, you know, maybe watch it. We'll see. But um, that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, yo, it's Wolfgang Peaks, Wolfgang Lifestyle. And I'm out.